American racing scene as Kelso did during the early 1960s. From 1960 through 1964, the Great Gelding won five consecutive Horse of the Year awards. Winner of nine straight races dating back to his three-year-old campaign, Kelso was the three-to-five favorite in the 1961 Suburban Handicap. He carried top weight of 133 pounds and spotted his nine rivals from 10 to 27 pounds. As Sarcastic sprinted to the front at the break, Kelso settled into fourth under jockey Eddie R. Carroll. Sarcastic was finished after a mile, and Talent Show had taken the lead, followed by Francis S. Kelso began closing ground while running third on the outside. Down the stretch, Arcaro twice showed the whip to Kelso, who needed little urging. He went on to post a five-length victory in two minutes, two seconds flat, as Arcaro recorded his fifth suburban victory out of the past six runnings of the race. Kelso, who earlier had won the Metropolitan Handicap, completed a sweep of the New York Handicap Triple Crown by winning the Brooklyn under 136 pounds 18 days later. He won seven of nine starts during his four-year-old campaign. After running second in 1962, Kelso won the Suburban in 1963 and was beaten ahead by Iron Peg in 1964 in his attempt to become a three-time winner of the race. He retired at the age of nine with earnings of nearly $1,978,000, a record which stood until another great gelding, John Henry, surpassed that mark in 1981. During his career, Kelso won 39 of 66 starts, including 32 stakes races. On October 15, 1983, Kelso, the super gelding of the 60s, and Forgo, the champion gelding of the 70s, led the post parade at Belmont Park for the Jockey Club Gold Cup, a race Kelso won five straight years. This would be the public's final glimpse of the Iron Horse. He died the next day at the age of 26.